Good morning, Mumu. We have cows grazing once again in our campsite. This is a morning ritual. We seem to be here every morning. Eating grass, that's what they do. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. This morning we're gonna run back to the property. Yes, I do have cameras there, and also Ed and Sue are watching, but I just wanna run back because we're not that far from the property. So I thought we would just go there this morning, check on a few things, and then come back to camp. Plus I found a kiwi vine and I wanna get this planted out. I've already tried twice to plant the kiwi vine and it was bare root and it was not successful for me. So I was fortunate and glad to have found a more mature plant that is already leafed out and that I can get into the ground because hopefully this one won't have any issues. Since it is more of a mature plant and this is a self-fertile variety, since it is self-fertile, it does not require the male, but it will fruit more with the male. One is male, which doesn't get as large, and then there's the female, which produces the flowers and the fruit. Good morning. Hey, just creeping, up again. creeping. Puppies, are you ready to go back? Huh? Come on. We made it back, Mumu. I haven't checked everything yet, but so far things look good. Nothing looks bad. Checking on the girls. We have. Oh, there's Nightshade and Suki. Where is Phoenix? Or Snap? Okay, let's see. I'd put this box in here, hoping that they would start nesting, and they are. That's where Phoenix is. She's in there nesting. Awesome, I'm glad they're using that. I also installed these little eating trays the last time I was here. Oh, looks like they're using it for poop because it hasn't been cleaned out. These ones on the door still have food in them, so at least they're not pooping in that one. Okay. So Jeff said he saw something over here. Where is it? So there's two squirrels in here. Which is unusual. I just thought this area was way too dry for squirrels, but it's not, obviously. There's two squirrels. Did you say there was one up in the tree? Some? Yeah. Where? He hasn't jumped down. Where is he? I don't even see him. The very highest branch, but he's... I think he's on top of the branch, so you can't see him. Oh. Well, I think they're stuck in here, because I had noticed a while back that there was a hole in here. Go ahead, girls. You can run free. And also, there is a hole here, so something is digging under. Um, I think this is the squirrel that's doing that. So it's got obviously a burrowed hole all the way to the tree. Yeah, and the other one's over there. And the other one is over here? The other hole. Oh, the other hole? Where? We put a rock in. There's another hole? Oh. Oh yeah, that's where they definitely dug. We gotta be good about that. So we need to put the rock on the inside and then I'm gonna get some staples and pound that down so they don't get in and out. Can't be having them get in. At least they're not predators, they're just squirrels because they can get in and eat the chickens if it's like a raccoon or something, but I haven't seen any of those, thankfully. Does he see him in there? I don't think he sees them. He probably picks up their scent. So, Kellogg might scare them out of here. They obviously weren't in here to begin with. Holy cow! That is the biggest horny toad I've ever seen. Look at this one. Don't let Kellogg get at it. See it? Yeah, that's a big one. I've never seen one. Well, I think the last time I've seen one this big was at, in New Mexico when I was a kid. There's one right there. Oh, the chicken was chasing it. Oh, the chicken is chasing it? Yeah, huh. Get it. Get it, girls. Now Kellogg's after it. Well, that is sad. I don't like things being killed, but that's what he does. And I'm glad he does, because he kills rats, and he is a rat terrier, so he's a hunter. So the reason why the squirrels are probably coming in here is the food. 
I've heard that they're not interested in the chicken. They just are interested in the food. Which, that's why I got these feeders here. But they still might be able to get into these. Because squirrels are pretty agile. So maybe they're eating the food. Well, not anymore. At least that one isn't. There's one in the tree somewhere. So hopefully it gets out and stays out. We'll cover these holes. Right, girls? I'm trying to eat all your food. <laughs> I'm going around checking the bucket traps, and there are a few rats. So I have to put those out so the crows can get them, or the ravens. Everything looks good, though, just as we left it, which is awesome. And I did catch some squirrels on the camera. I think there's a family of squirrels living underneath the shipping container. Yep, they dug it back out. All right, I was thinking about pouring some cement down there and, and putting some water so they can't dig out there. Because I think they're eating, like, my plants here. Bucket down. Okay. Everything looks good. How's the water tank? Well, getting low. Before we left, I cut off this tank here, so this has a lot of water still left in it. Yeah. Here. But we're trying to empty this tank so we can move it, because we're going to use, we're going to separate this and use this one for rainwater collection. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's right here. Jeff came back and got some gravel added to his driveway here. But it's pretty big. Definitely gonna have to get another load that's smaller. It's, yeah, it's like three inch minus, but actually I think it's three inch cl clean. There's a lot of big rock here. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to get like the one and a half inch to minus to add on top of this. Hopefully Scotty can like level this out for yeah. you. I did add a few more old pillows that I had laying around to the deck area. Then I added this tray and some knickknacks just to fill it up give it a little style remember, did you get some water yes good girl jeff and i are going around and watering a few things that aren't on drip like some of my succulents in the pots they're doing fine they don't need that much water Like I said, our goal was to empty this tank and start using this tank. So now what has happened is he's cut off this tank. So water can no longer come out of this, but it's almost empty anyways and not pumping hardly anymore. So we're just gonna get the pump and pump it out. What's left in this one into this one. And we've got this one cut back on. Got the swap cooler out just so we could take breaks. Now I know why we're not back on the property. It's a bit warm today to be working in this. But I believe I've got everything done. I had some issues with the drip system. Some of the hoses were kinked. I don't know how that happened. But I got those unkinked and one of the lines bursted. So I cut that line off. We'll probably be coming back here soon so I'm not too worried about it. Plans can change so if we don't, I wish everything was working. Um, Maybe I can run to Ed's and get some tape for that busted line. All right, we've got everything loaded up in the truck and we're getting ready to leave. Everything is done for now. And we're not that far, so I can always come back if I need to. Right, Momo? You hot? Yeah, it's hot. Let's get out of here. Come on, go. Go, go, go. All right. In the truck with air conditioning and it feels good, doesn't it come out? Yes, yes. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's supposed to be just a couple more days of 90 degree weather and then it's going to drop into the 80s and that'll be more bearable so we'll probably come back then. And then the monsoon season is supposed to start, then it's uh, only hot until probably about noon or 1 then the clouds roll in and everything cools off to about 70 something degrees so that'll be nice i can't wait for that but until then we will stay away and if i 
need to come back, then I'll just ride back. Like I said, it's not that far. Ooh, you like the air conditioning, don't you? Yes. We stopped by Raptor Ranch to get something cold to drink and some ice cream, yum yum. I've actually never seen it so busy. The parking lot's pretty busy and inside the restaurant is packed. Okay, it's getting hot. We're gonna head back. Would you cool? Oh yay, we're getting some rain. This should help with the dust. Rain, rain. <laughs> and also help cool things off. Oh, well, Momo, it's really starting to let down now. Is it nappy time? Nappy time? Yes? What are, what, are what are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? What are you sitting on my lap? <laughs> are y'all ready? Ready to go for a walkie poo? Huh? Y'all want to go for a walkie poo? You too, Mumu? Yes? The storm was short lived. It's already passed by. I think it lasted about 10 minutes, if even that. So we're going to do some... You're doing great. Wow, oh, thank you. We're going to do some exploring around camp. We're not going that far, but I did pack some water and also my phone. Not really necessary because we're probably going to go less than a mile away from camp. The time I rode the bike, that was like several miles. I think like about six miles away from camp. So it was pretty far to have to walk the bike back. But, yep. It feels beautiful out right now. It cooled it down, the rain did. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? ready? Go! Wrong way. <laughs> They're going the wrong way. This is our main road coming in, the rough road, but the rain has settled some of the dust. But there's this mystery path, as Jason called it. This trailhead over here. Looks more like an animal trail. So we're gonna wander up here and see what we see. There's a huge aspen grove here that's all fenced in. And that's the uh, San Francisco Peaks in the distance. There's like a lot of lupin growing. There's tons of it here. Very beautiful back here. A lot of burnt stuff from the prescribed burns. This is really neat back here. Quiet. And the aspen forest is still going. It's a big one. What you doing, Mama? What you doing? Definitely a lot of dead trees. I'm not sure if they were dead from the prescribed burn. Or if it's some kind of beetle or insect or something like that. So there's a lot of dead trees through here. Could be why they did the prescribed burn because of all the dead trees. Well, that is a weird tree. It looks like it wants to fall over. So yeah, we're just gonna go right back in. It's not much holding it up there. Huh. So the trail just kind of loops around and we're coming along this fence side and uh, near our camp is a water tank up here. And then our camp is not that far from the water tank. So it's just a big loop. Although this isn't clearly marked and it looked like the road continued through the fence. There used to be a gate there, but the gate is now gone, so you can't go through it. And I think we took a walk around there and there's a gate on the far, far end of the road. And I think that's probably where it leads to. Go crazy, go, go crazy, go, 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 go. <laughs> Dogs are being really crazy. Yeah. 
Yeah, so we were off. Um, our campsite is right over there. And the water tank is actually up that hill. You gotta go to the top of that. And that's where the water tank is, so. We were off just a bit. But it's good, because then we would have been fenced in. And we're not now. A lot of burnt lots everywhere and dead trees. Okay, now I know where we are. There's a side road from where we're camping and the tank is up there. And this is the secondary campsite. Ooh, what'd you get? A nickel? Ooh. Nickel. <laughs> That's five. That is vacant. No one's here. It's a nice campsite, but it's very like sheltered from the trees, so no solar. Yeah, if you just continue on up the road, there's a water tank up there. Alright, well, we made it to the water tank with a rain catchment roof. That would be pretty neat to have on the property. I do want a big tank for rainwater collection. We're gonna head back to camp now from here. And like I said, it's not that far. Momo, the sun is gone. <laughs> it is almost dinner time. It's pretty quiet here at base camp. I didn't need any water, but the dogs did, so good thing we brought extra water and a bowl for them to drink out of. They're gonna chew sticks and stare at each other awkwardly. It's like my sticks, man. <laughs> Kellogg, your sticks pretty big there. <laughs> what was that all about, huh? That's a good guess. You better get one. Give me here. Give me the stick. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a really quiet spot. Oh, besides that. <laughs> we decided to come to the casino right outside of Flagstaff. I've been here several times. We've actually stayed here before. We are not staying here now. We just wanted to get away from camp. We are here and we are enjoying the buffet. They have a pretty decent buffet. Not a lot of food to choose from, um, but they do have a great dessert bar. And here's my food. Got salad going on with lasagna. The buffet here is about $25 a person. You do get 10% off if you have a club card. And um, we have the whole gang with us here. Everybody enjoying the food? <laughs> How's yours? Good? Yours good? Over there? Yeah. See, they can't even talk. Their mouth is so full from all the good food. What you got going on there, Jeff? Is that like fish? Oh, it's or like chicken. 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 Okay, chicken, chicken and, mashed and mashed potatoes. So they do cool, have man. prime rib on the buffet as well, which is nice considering it's $25. There's the prime rib, and they also do have the fried bread. Sorry, Jenna, I don't mean to like no, you're fine. you. What, what is this a stew that you Lamb? I'm having a salad. Your salad looks really good. <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff on it. Yeah. It's very good. You got some, well, you got some, um, I had some mashed potatoes and then I had some mussels. Oh, yeah. oh there's some mussels. I was oh, You missed that one too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't do those. I can't. Oh, yum, yum, oh. yum, yum, yum. Oh, yeah, I can't. oh. oh. <laughs> Muscle down. Muscle down. <laughs> I had to pause and get some fried bread with honey and powdered sugar because I saw Jason's. <laughs> He's guarding his like like I'm gonna steal it. <laughs> Try to steal it twice. I did. Okay, I'm gonna dig into this and then I'll see how full I am and continue with the buffet. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's good. It's a little messy. Did you get some too? Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's getting the fried bread. And it just came out too. Oh, did it? Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Oh my god, the dessert bar is amazing. Oh, look at the with the banana food. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I gotta get some more dessert. Okay, as far as the dessert bar goes, they definitely have every place I've ever been to be. They have a really good dessert bar. This is what I got. There was so much to choose from, but I got the pineapple upside down cake, some chocolate cake, and 
I, I'm not sure what this was. There's some kind of um, pudding. I'm surprised you didn't get the lemon cake. Yeah, too many different lemon cakes. I know. There was lemon this, lemon that. The chocolate cake was good. The pudding with cake and whipped cream was good. But the pineapple upside down was actually a disappointment. I've had some really good pineapple upside down cake. That was not very good. It did look good. It was very fooling.